we got AKA List and Musumoto here. AKA List rocking the Zelda Musumoto on Mario on Memento, so pretty familiar with what we've seen already today, aside from that Zelda being right now. Now, I know we have a couple Zeldas floating around here, Shauners also being one, and we've seen a few other people busted out from time to time, but the Shauners decidedly only playing Zelda, generally speaking. Right now, AKA List, uh, of course I almost cast Gerson in there, he's controlling the stage pretty well at the moment. Up smash comes through there. And finally, now Musumoto's finding some uh, damage here. Oh, not quite out of the range of that. A little bit of a misjudgment, unfortunately, for him. But he's going to get in behind. AKA Alice almost catches him off the side there. And using that reflector is a nice, just up close, get off me move here. Both these guys getting into kill percentage. Uh, forward smash or back throw from Mario can definitely put AKA Alice out into danger. And at 130, Mario's got to watch out for any real good smash deck. 110 now is just definitely death percentages across the board. Oh, that second up being not what he intended to do. Leaves himself open, gets back to the stage though with a nice up. Miss judges the direction of the smash. Get off me once again. He's got the Phantom out. Clears the side with his dash and he gets the kill with the dash. First stock going the way of AKA list. Musumoto's definitely got kill percentage here on AKA list at 130. He's gonna need something better than an up air. AKA list in a little danger here. Fireball's not gonna stop him from getting back. He's not even gonna try for the two frames. Just misses the grab, gets punched with the smash attack. Phantom off on the side. Comes in a little early there. Musumoto easily gonna get back on the stage. There's the grab and the throw, but he goes with the forward. He's trying to go short side, even though he's really about in the middle. Really, finally able to get through with that up tilt, but I believe the, the back throw would have been more advantageous than earlier. Worked out in the long run for him. AKA he was finally trying to get up there with those uh, recoveries. He's teleporting for the damage repeatedly here. So he wants that, oh, and Musamoto, unfortunate death off to the side. Uh, almost a full stock eight now. It is a full stock lead for AKA list two and one. So Moo's gonna have to really, really put it down if he's wanting to come back in this. Projectile game just coming out from both these guys poking at each other. Moo knowing he needs to make a move if he wants to get in this. Oh, and finally, AKA lands what he's been looking for. Up tilt, he goes into the down air, another up tilt, up air, up air, he climbs the ladder a bit. Not able to get him on the recovery with that up B, but he's got him up to 72%. He has him in a point where he can kind of push him around the stage a little bit. Ruin! Rolls into the smash attack, unfortunately. He does get the snap too, just barely, but the Phantom will come through. And that's game one going the way of AKA list. Here 
in game two, running the same characters, moving over to Yoshi's story. A little bit more platforms going on here. Obviously gives Mu the ability to climb the ladder if he can get into a space for it. Oh, and he was looking for it right there, in fact. Oh my god, AKA, what the hell was that? He's been looking for those up Bs, and that one just perfectly lands in his lap and it just destroys Mu. It's a really hard spot to fight back from for Mu now, going out at a low percentage in such a quick turnaround like that. AKA looking for it again, not quite the right percentage. But, you know, from that that throw that he's not too far off of it. So Mu's gonna have to watch himself taking that again. Again, not able to land the recovery into Mu. But he lands that one. 68% on the Mu's second stock, AKA in kill percentage now. Makes it back below Mu. Smash Jack sends him off to the side. Breaks up the Phantom. And good dash, now he's got control of the stage here. He's looking to try and get rid of AKA, but make it back to stage using that Phantom for a nice cover. Back throw will do it though, brings him down to two stock. Even up here, Musumoto carrying a lot more damage though. And there it goes once again, just launching him out the top with that recovery. It's just dirty to watch it happen. Once again, with a bit of a, a mountain to climb here. Phantom comes through up to 86%. Now it feels like just a formality of AKA was finding his moment to get the kill here on him. And that up smash will be the moment. Sends him out the top, no DI to keep him in. And there we go, AKA Les takes it 2 to 0 over Musumoto.